hey guys welcome back to my channel if you guys want to know how i did this look then just keep on watching all right so i already did my eyebrows and i didn't record it because i just started learning how to do them and it would just take too long and we'd be here forever so yeah first thing i'm gonna do is go in with the wet and wild photo focus in medium tawny and just use that as my eyeshadow primer Right now I'm going in with the Airspun Translucent Powder and using the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush and using that to set my eyes. Alright y'all, now I'm going in with the Lorac Unzipped Palette and I'm using the shade Unspoken and I'm just going to use that as my transition shade. It's a little darker than what I'm used to using but I'm just going to roll with it. Now I'm just going to go back in with that same palette and I'm using the shade Unbridled and I'm going to put that on my crease or a little bit above my crease I guess. Alright now I'm going in with the Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to use this like burnt orange shimmer shade and I'm just gonna apply that to the lids all right so I don't have a blending brush so I'm just gonna go in with a fluffy crease brush and just try to blend out those harsh lines Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the Morphe 35F palette and I'm going to use that nice burgundy shimmer shade and I'm going to put that on my crease or I guess maybe above my crease. I'm not really too good at explaining what I'm doing, I just do it. So I guess just watch. Alright, now I'm going back with that same palette and using this Winer Plum shade and I am going to use that on the outer corners just to make it a little darker and yeah. Now I'm just reapplying that same burnt orange color that I used before on the lids from the Morphe 35O palette. Now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out just a little bit, not too much. Alright, now I'm grabbing the eyelash curler. You can use any eyelash curler and just obviously going to curl my lashes. Now I'm going in with the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. And I've only tried this a few times, but so far I really like that it gives my lashes so much more length than any other mascara that I've tried. And for this look, I'm going in with the Coco Lashes in Soho. I guess that's how you say it. Anyways, uh, this is the first time that I've tried these lashes and they're honestly really cute. They're like toads adorbs. Alright, so here we finally get to the face part. And I'm using the Honey Do Me Up by NYX uh, Serum slash Primer, I guess. Whatever. And yeah, just gonna put that all over my face. Now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in orange and I'm going to put that under my eyes just a little bit and then I'm going to cover all these acne scars that I have because I can't help but just pick on my face. It's a total bad habit but whatever, that's what they got makeup for, hey. 
Now I'm going with the Green Pro Concealer. Oh, yep, had that upside down. All right. So yeah, with the Green Pro Concealer and putting that all over the cheek area because I tend to get red there a lot. Like, it ain't even funny how red I get. Anyways, I'm gonna put that all over and then I'm also gonna put it on a few pimples I have, you know, popping up my face, the huge. All right, now that I'm looking all cute with all these colors, I'm just gonna grab a beauty blender and just dab, dab, dab all over my face, just blend everything out. Okay, now I'm going with the Anastasia Stick Foundation and I am the color Almond. This is actually the second time that I've used this foundation. They match me to this, so you guys tell me what you think. Does it match me? Oh no. All right, now it's time to conceal my under eyes and I'm going in with that same concealer I used to prime my eyes, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus and it is the shade Medium Tawny. Now for contouring, I am using the NYX Wonder Stick and it is in the shade Deep. Now bear with me because I'm not too good at contouring, so I'm going to try my best. Right now going again with that same concealer uh, above my jawline on my chin. The bridge of my nose and the middle of my forehead and I'm just gonna blend that all out all right now we're to my favorite part the baking so I'm gonna set under my eyes with the airspun translucent powder also on my chin and the jawline i guess that's what it's called i don't even know and then on a little bit on my forehead all right now we're going back with the loric unzip and in the shade unbridled and we're just gonna get a flat liner brush and just put it on the bottom lash is that what it's called? The bottom lash? You know what I mean. Alright, now we're going to go back with the Morphe 35F palette. If I could open it any day now. Alright, so we're going to go in with that burgundy shimmer shade and going to put that on the bottom lash. Right now I'm grabbing a pointed blender brush and just gonna try to smoke that out a little bit. You know, just avoid um, maybe possibly not stabbing your eye, you know. All right, now I'm going with the L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Pencil Eyeliner in black, putting that on my waterline, then going in with a smudge brush to create the smoky look. All right, now just using any big fluffy brush or kabuki brush and just wiping off all the translucent powder. Now for the lips, I'm using the NYX liquid lipstick in the shade Teddy. Now I'm using the Anastasia Scented Glow Kit and I am using the highlighter Moonstone. Mm -hmm. 
Now going in with the summer highlighter, I'm going to put that on the inner corners of my eyes. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and liked this look. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to share this video with your mommy, your papi, the tios, or your primos, whatever you want, um, just stay tuned for my next video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!